did you know that the tennis elbow injury was first called writer's cramp? Actually, it was called tripe cramp because it was first documented by German physician Ferdinand Runge in 1873. He was researching causes of this condition that gave writers burning pain in the lateral epicondyle of the elbow. However, this publication by Dr. Runge was not brought into attention by the English-speaking medical research community until 1961. By that time, the injury known as lateral epicondylitis was already widely known as the long tennis arm, which was popularized by British surgeon Henry Morris, who published his article in 1882, in which he introduced the long tennis arm, in which the frequent use of the backhand tends to lead to the sprain of the pronator teres muscle. Did you know that only 5% of the people who suffer from tennis elbow injury actually play tennis? According to Dr. Adrian E. Flat, this is because the game of tennis has evolved over time. That real tennis involved different material for a tennis ball, a tennis racket, and a different surface for the tennis court. What did I hear you say? You want to know how to rehab from tennis elbow? You can go ahead and check out the video that I made going over exercises for tennis elbow right here.